Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Brown Dust video. Alright, today we'll be checking out all the new awesome mercenary skills that you guys have been wanting me to check out and react to possibly. So we have Velter, we have Ventana, we have Naja, and we have Ebony. So that's just a bunch of interesting mercenaries. I can't wait to check out their skills. I've already did a trailer uh, analysis, but obviously all the things that I mentioned in that trailer are just predictions based on what I can see right there. So now this is the official one for the skills. Let's dive into this. As always, we're going to use the book.browndust.app. Okay, so we're going to jump into here. Alright, so make sure to select it as Courier if you guys are trying to use this as well. Alright, so first up, we're going to check out Ventana. Alright, so let's go to Attack. What is Ventana all about? Empty? Yo, 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 what is happening? Okay, okay, I was like... What is happening? Why am I not seeing anything? Ventana, somewhere at the bottom. Okay, so this is going to be insane. So I think first things that I want to do is check out her skills. I mean her stats first, rather than the skills. So, stats. 1931 attack. Wow. Wow. Bloody wow right there. Alright, so almost 2000 attack. That is very high base attack for a 5 star warrior. So I know Larkis and Adin is also on the higher side above 2k, but hers is almost 2k which is really really high. But considering that she's a single target unit, so it makes sense. Vitality, alright HP 3.2k, defense, decent crit rate 20%, 50% uh, crit damage and of course 25% agility. Okay, so obviously her skills have been reworked all the way up to plus 15. So we're gonna check it out one at a time. I still have not yet seen her skills, so this is like fresh out of the box. I'm going to find out what is happening with her skills. Taunt Bang! Okay, what is this about? Taunt Bang. Inflict additional damage depending on the skill type. Enemies taunt skill type times attack times 250% additional damage. Enemy Firefighter. I think this is Concentrated Fire. Concentrated Fire times attack times 250% additional damage. This is at plus zero. That is a lot of damage, man. Plus zero, 250% already? Come on. Agile persistent. Okay, agility times 100% increase attack. This is before combat. Awesome, awesome. So the more agile she has, the better it is. Oh, that skill is locked. All right, so plus one. Let me guess, 300%. Okay, so 250, increase 300. Plus two, 350%. Uh, makes sense, makes sense. Plus three, so this is where she unlocks the ultimate strike. Okay, inflict additional damage on the enemy as well. So times 50% additional damage. That is not that high to be honest. Okay, so how about her awakening skill? So before she attacks, okay, before she attacks, she gets armor increased by 95%. Okay, so ideally you want to have 100% defense but it's only 95%, so that means she will not die to counter. That makes sense, that's her awakening skill. Okay, so plus 4, let me get 75, plus 5 is 100. Okay, plus 6, so agility times 100% damage increase. So agility times 100% damage reduction, wow. So the m amount of agility she has is going to times the amount of damage reduction is going to equate to the damage reduction that she will have in battle. That is pretty cool. Um, it's not going to be much because at most you can have 8% uh, damage reduction. I mean 8% agility, right? So 8% on one rune. Maybe the other rune you have 8%, so 16%. So equates to damage reduction. Uh, it's not that high to be honest, but it's still better than nothing. 16% damage reduction. Will this skill increase? It looks like it might increase later on, at later skill level. So plus 8, 150, 100. Okay, so now plus 9. Oh! So enemies, attack enemies, taunt skill type times number times 350%. Enemy, il Jomsa skill type number. Okay, I think that's still concentrated fire. Now we have this skill. Harmful effect immunity. You are immune to harmful skill types what does that freaking mean nobody knows what the heck is a harmful skill type is this dot or is it like what curse what is this 
it looks like debuff immunity, right? It looks like, yeah, so she just have debuff immunity before she attacks. Makes sense. So you can't do reflective counter uh, DOT like Diomeron or anything like Acha or Sloan. You can't cheese with that. Okay, plus 10. Okay. So 200% agility increase. So that is going to contribute a lot. So the more agility she has, the more she will be able to benefit from it. Plus 11, 200 and 150. Okay, so that is going to be significant now, the damage reduction. So plus 12. So now, maximum health each turn, 50% recovery. Okay, 95% armor still. Plus 13. Okay, so what do we have now? 150%, okay, it's not that high. Okay, okay, plus 14, 200%. Oh ho, and at the end right now, plus 15. Are you guys ready for the surprise? Are you guys ready? I sure am not. Let's go, plus 15. Oh my god, you get two more skills. Two more skills, that's so broken. Four skills, just like that. Okay, 600, what? 650, 650%? That is freaking high! Oh my god! 600%! That's the highest modifiers... That's the highest modifier I've ever seen on any skills. 650%! Okay, inflicts additional damage based on the skill type applied to the enemy. Enemy's taunt skill types. Okay, times max health. Times 650%. Okay, and then we have this thing. Uh, debuff immune. One turn before she hits. So what is this skill right here? Empowerment. On death. If an enemy dies during the bonus damage duration, you gain a focused effort. All stats are increased except health. Okay, while all stats have a hundred plus hundred percent focus, each attack inflicts additional damage on the eye. What is this translation? What on the island? What? Okay, uh, this is interesting. All stats have a plus one hundred freaking percent. Okay, so what about the last one? What is this? I learn. Okay, okay. So now I get it. So inflicts additional damage on enemies. Additional damage times 75%. Okay, I'm trying to understand this right. Okay, let's have a look again. So this skill right here, fixed damage is applied regardless of armor. Fixed damage no longer causes critical strikes. Oh, so she deals fixed damage now? I mean, there's no way, there's no way to know this because this translation is not really accurate, but Apparently she does fix damage now. So regardless if the enemy has... Is it fixed damage regardless? Or is it if only the enemy has taunt? Because it's not really mentioned right here. If the enemy has taunt, the additional damage is fixed damage. It looks like that's the case. Because fixed damage no longer causes critical strikes. I mean it no longer, no longer crits. Makes sense. Debuff immune. So we have this concentration. So if enemy dies, she get even more stats. Alright? Which makes sense, so that means she can... I mean she can deal instant damage in a nutshell. If she continues to prolong and continue to stay on the battle, she will be able to deal uh, more damage on the second round, third round ETC. Which is pretty broken, and what is this? Island. So inflicts additional damage on the enemies. So this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Alright, so we can confirm this because right now at the bottom it's written there that it's fixed damage. I mean, it didn't really mention that in the skill, but it's pretty cool that now she has a fixed damage. She does have debuff immunity one turn before she attacks. Similar to how Christina works, I get it. Very strong skill for sure, but after looking at her skills, I don't see why people are freaking out over her. Like, if you go to my Discord, everyone is like, Oh my god, Ventana! Like, she's gonna make all the taunters go out of meta. I don't really think so, because at the end of the day, she's still a single target unit. Um, yeah, she only hits one tile, so there's only so much she can do. She still dies to Beliaf and things of whatnot. If you have a formation that can prepare against her, I don't think it's that bad. But we will see, we will see. I mean, it's already out in the Korean meta, but we will see how it will be like once she comes globally. Alright, so next up we have Velter. Let's see what is Velter all about. Let's go for defense. Wait, Velter is a magician. Why do I go for defense? Magician, Velter, Veltor, Veltor, <laughs> Veltor. Okay, so what is he all about? So let's go, let's max it out and look at the 
14,000 base HP. Okay, so 1.2k uh, attack, 10% defense, 20% crit rate, 50% crit damage, 5% agility. Okay, so let's have a look at the skill. Looks like the range has improved. That is a pretty cool skill. Range has improved significantly. So, we have this skill. Okay, so it's a counter nullifier. Okay, so reflective counter in terms of nullifier. So it will remove all the attack. So this is a very scary skill because right now, Rafitya's skill is not, I mean, it's not irremovable. Her skills can be removed with nullifier. So this is like to counter Rafitya, like it's a good one because those many players I think nowadays try to run solo Rafi as a solo buffer. So this is the existence of Valster might bring back those irremovable, irremovable buffs healers like Michaela, Stella, ETC. Colossal Strike, okay. So max HP times 50% additional damage, that makes sense. And then we have this skill, regener regenerative skill. Okay, minus 30% damage reduction, recovers 4% HP every single turn. And Awakening skill, okay, permanent damage immunity. What is this all about? Persistent damage, immunity to continuous damage. Oh, immunity to DOT. Okay, that makes sense. DOT immunity, okay, plus one. So we will get 60%, so that is a lot of HP. Plus two, let me get 70%. Okay, so plus 3, this one will increase. More damage reduction, more recovery. I assume that's the same goes for plus 4. It seems so. Plus 5 as well. Okay, so plus 6 looks like something is different this time around. Look at this. Okay, so we do damage. And then we have this skill. What is this skill all about? Health increase! Pop champ! Health increase! That is some broken shit. Wow. Health increased by 30% and it lasts permanently as well after normal attack. Wow, the requirement is, I mean, I mean, I, I knew about this, but I didn't know the requirement is after normal attack. I thought like you have to eliminate and have to kill one enemy at least. If it's immediately after normal attack, is it broken though? Let's, let's think about this for a second. Is it that broken? I mean, it looks, it sounds broken on paper, right? Because like... After you attack, you get health increase. But we have to keep in mind, Valter is still a mage. So he needs two rounds to charge up and attack. So round two onwards only, he will get the health increase. So it doesn't sound that broken. I mean, how often do you fight battles where, you know, it, it takes more than three or four rounds, right? Maybe sometimes you do, if all your damage dealers and all the enemies damage dealers dies. But most of the time, you know, in properly set up, uh, formations that seldom happens at least for me okay so how how much will this increase later on plus seven let me guess it goes to an absolute amount 40 percent that is a lot all right now that's a lot now 90 percent and 50 percent 50 percent health increase that is just insane so this damage reduction possibly probably won't be helping him much because most of the units nowadays deal fixed damage anyways and you know with buffs and stuff 50%. The recover HP might be able to help him more. Let's see. 110%. So this one will go to some absurd amount now. 65. Okay. Is that the threshold? 130. 80%. For him to be dealing 130% of his max damage, that is a lot. That is a lot of damage, man. Okay, so now we get damage taken is reduced by 50% as well. So this DOT, dude, he has damage reduction 50% here, damage reduction 50% here. So isn't that like 100% damage reduction already? Or is that not is or is or that not how it's calculated? Do they reduce 50% and then the output there is reduced further by 50%? Okay, and then plus 13, 50% max life, 15% recovery, 50 and 20% recovery. So plus 15, 150% of max HP times additional damage alongside with 100% health increase. So if your Valter has, possibly has like two good vital runes, I think you can easily get to like 100k HP. It might be possible. It might actually be possible. 
Definitely a good skill for world boss, transport world bosses, Zaratan, Tyrion, definitely very good right there. But is it going to be good in PvP though? Because just because you have high HP doesn't mean that you are unkillable. Livia is still around. Uh, what else? You know, Angelica, Asmut, plenty of units that can deal insane amount of damage. But we will see it for sure. Um, I don't think he's as strong as Ventana in the meta, but I could be wrong. Hopefully, you know, the meta will prove me wrong. I hope to see more mages in the mix because from what I know, Frisha wasn't that used much as well. Alright, so moving on, next we have Ebony. Let's go to Ebony. Okay, so Ebony plus 15. What is this all about? Let's go, let's check it out. 2.2k uh, HP. 0% everything except for Agility which is 5% Since Ebony is a 4 star, we can just check out her main skill all the way at plus 15 So we will know what she actually gets Okay, so a Nullifier skill, Invalidate, grants the ability to negate Okay, so 12 turns after normal attack Okay, so remove the skill, nullifies them, it's still the same Okay, apparently that one has not changed How about this skill? So now 45% attack increase and 12% crit chance increase Okay, okay, not bad And how about this skill? Crit damage 55% And 5% attack looks like Okay, pretty cool And we have awakening skill will allow allies to be immune to stats Alright, she always have this stats weakening immunity And looks like she has attack interference immunity as well this time Alright, so we have another unit with attack interference immunity for 4 star I mean we have always have Eras for that And Michaela has that as well but now Ebony is one more option uh, It doesn't look that broken Obviously it's going to give more buffs And they didn't say that her buffs are Or is irremovable or anything like that It's not mentioned right there I'm going to assume that it is not I mean that it is removable, it's not, uh, it's not as strong as Mikaela's one But overall, I guess she will still be good in Novice Okay, so next up, let's have a look at Naja Okay, so let's see if I was right about her So obviously she's a 3 star Whoa! Am I looking at this right? She has 1.9k base attack That is very high For a 3 star, I think that's very high Or is it not high? Wasn't she as high as Ventana's base attack then? Obviously this is if you max awaken her to 6 stars That is interesting to know Vitality 2.5k HP 20% crit rate, 25% crit damage, 5% agility Okay, so what do we have for her skills? Okay, 2 hits Performs 2 attack, damage is reduced, 80% damage That is a lot of reduction right there so how about this skill? Okay, so inflicts additional damage on the enemy, 100%, okay. So alongside with that, if the enemy dies, you recover 100% of your health alongside with damage increase for 26 turns if the enemy dies. Immune to stats weakening immunity. Wait, this is after, before normal attack, okay. Okay, so it's interesting. So she's a single target unit. That hits the most rare That is not a little I don't know, like she's, she might be the only 3 stars that Warrior that hits the most rare uh, The most back I can't think of anyone else on the top of my head right now um, There might be some that I can't You know, just couldn't figure it out right now But overall it does not look that impressive compared to Ventana's skills So yeah, I guess Overall I'm still more excited for Ventana as Opposed to the other three Velta is gonna be an interesting one It looks like... I'm not sure if He's gonna be used much in PvP It looks like he's gonna be very strong in PvE uh, Guild Wars, installing And things like Underground Arena But PvP specifically, I'm not sure Because there's a lot of units That are very strong right now in the meta That has the ability to one-shot him easily, I believe And he needs two rounds So... Will you be able to last him until 2 rounds? I have no idea, but we will find out hopefully Alright guys, so that's gonna be it for this video Hope you enjoyed it Let me know what you guys think of the new units Are you guys excited? 
who are you guys most excited about as always if you're new to this channel subscribe give this video a like i'll see you guys in the next one have a nice day goodbye